Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about crankshaft torque sensor. I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit sure that I don't become you I have no regrets outside of my chest So basically we are gonna show you how we utilize torque sensor for the crankshaft It's a sensor that detects the torque that the rider exerts on the shaft of the crank while they are pedaling and it helps the controller to understand how much force or let's say torque the user wants from the motor to help or assist them and it's a very critical part of any modern e-bike system we're going to show you today how we mount it how we utilize it how we connect the wirings and then later on talking a little bit about the outputs the analog outputs maybe digital outputs and also some ideas about how we're going to actually use it with our controller and implementing a firmware for it Please stay tuned, subscribe to our channel. So what we have here, this is the original. And this is what we are going to, to mount instead of the original bearings. So it will be like that. So the diameter of the connector is 9.35 millimeters. And the wire is flat, so we can use this hole which already was drilled in the frame. Put the, the wire inside. Okay, so we need to drill something like more than 9.5 millimeters, probably it will be 10 millimeters. Okay, it fits well. This is what we finally have after drilling. I also cleaned a little bit the, um, the inner surface. So you see there are no, no chips there. So everything clean. Now we can mount our torque sensor inside. So we first put the wire in the hole, then put the, the shaft and then just screw the, the bearings. So we need to, to redrill the hole and uh, to put it exactly on the place of, of the, the, the wire outcome. So this is 37 millimeters from the side, 37 millimeters, it will be another hole, so exactly as I thought about that. So I tried to, to use this hole uh, 
which was in the frame like from from the from stock yeah from from the shop but the the hole is not exactly on the place of the wire and uh, I just cut it a little bit the, the outer um, safe cover of the wires but the, the, the wires themselves are not cut so I, I checked I will put some uh, some thermal thermal tube here to just be sure that nothing is coming inside okay but this is the first time so i didn't know so i will drill another hole here just with with the a little bit tilting the the the, the plane of of the hole just to be sure it will not be one on top of another okay so another hole will be here yeah Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad, I'm like I might grab a bat, I don't know My wrath, my blood boils over like Oh God, here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Switches how you see things Realize something needs change Cause I know you got me fucked up Let me show you what's up Enough is enough I'll take a face full of pavement Just to make a statement I know there's no turning back Oh god, it dread So I try to to put some thermal thermal tube here but didn't find the uh, a proper piece because the diameter here is 9.5 and um, the diameter what I have for 10 millimeters which is not shrinking enough so I will use a piece of black tape just to be sure I have a, like additional safety cover okay so we have this additional safety here additional cover which I think is important to put before you cut your outer um, safety cover of the wire yes it's, it's like a little bit too thin in my opinion come at me and you won't get any older do crack your hold or two up inside of me, blood so violently, thanks for trying me. Right. Now it's finally time to see how this rivalry becomes a dynasty. Okay, so here we are, installation is done, now we need to mount our spider. The first mounting problem that we have, I will show you. So the mounting problem is that we cannot mount the gear on the spider because it touched the frame here okay so the, the previous gear was smaller and had like a smaller diameter but the the spider was different so here it is clearly seen the spider is mounting here yes cannot mount here Can mount. okay so what we have done so far this is the the old um, bearing set 
which I removed from the original bike. This ring we didn't use because we don't need it. This is um, another fixing unit for the spider. We have the new cranks. A new spider. We have here the old chain ring which is not fitting to the spider. You see the, the holes are like in different position and the diameter is different also. And we have a new chain ring for, for this new spider which unfortunately is a little bit too large for our frame and it, it is like touching the frame as I, as I already showed in, in, uh, in the video. And now we need to, to order a new chain ring a bit smaller and probably also the spider. In addition, I realized that there are bolts are missing for these cranks, so we need also to order two bolts. And uh, yes, that's it. We have here our setup, the oscilloscope, some wires connected also. I did labeling here, you see sign, cadence, cosine, voltage, the ground. Now it is connected to torque sensor. Okay, so here is connected everything, installed and uh, tuned also the oscilloscope. So we see here the, the reference like Okay, let's say 0 0.8 is our zero. Now I will apply torque and um, show you multiple times what, what I have as a result. The torque will be from, um, from small to medium, like in continuously increasing the, the amount of torque which I can implement using my hands. Okay, so this is the system which I have. This is, you see. Okay, and now I hold it and we can check the the minimum amount of torque here zero uh -huh. this is 1.23 volt which is by the plot is around 10 newton meters the next step is about 0 0.4 i'm sorry 1.4 which is around 20, 20 newton meters. The third one, 1.7, which is around 30 newton meters. And the, the next one, 2.25 and 2.25 is like something a little bit more than 40 newton meters okay this is what we have so as I thought uh, the torque cells are installed here in sides in the, the bearing brackets inside but now it is clear that the torque is applied in between of, of this gear and the central shaft 
So uh, this video was about the torque sensor and the in the next videos we are going to show you how it works the hydraulic sensor for the brake system. Uh, we have the hydraulic brake system here so for recuperation of energy, the sensitivity or like amount of recuperation of energy. Uh, we also are going to order the motor hub soon and we will show you how it works and maybe some rims and assembling of the wheel so yeah stay tuned guys don't want to sleep in cuz i got something to prove i got to take what i hate